Hey everyone, welcome to Beach Investing. I'm your host, Andre Flakovsky. Today we are in the Toronto Metro Archives, as you can see here. This is uh, just south of Casa Loma. Uh, it's, the address is 255 Spadina Road, not Spadina Avenue. And what we do here is, because we tend to focus on the Toronto Beaches area, which are houses that are 80 to 100 to 100 year plus years old, uh, we come to this archives uh, area and we research the history of the house or any house that we're looking into because there's a lot of history here. So uh, one example, which is we have here Jeff Reed, who remember the, the Toronto, the Prime Reach property where there's a lot of history, he's actually doing an extensive renovation on it. Well, I'll refer to those blogs, uh, those episodes below this blog, but uh, I want to introduce you to Jeff here because he's uh, doing some archive search in here and he's finding a lot of history on that house. Jeff, come on over here. How you doing? Good, thanks. How you doing? Awesome. So we're, we're being a little quiet here because it is, uh, it's pretty quiet here too. So Jeff, tell us uh, what you found here when we're looking for some history on your property. Well, I've got a, an interesting project. Uh, the house we're working on on Wheeler and the beaches uh, was built in the late 1800s. And uh, this is a great source of information. We're really trying hard to restore the property as opposed to uh, build new. And uh, so you can see in the pictures here, uh, there's information back to the early 1900s about what the, the property looked like. Uh, you can see on the, the, on the right where uh, uh, they've excavated the basement. And on the left over here, uh, where it's a nice newer looking home, these pictures are back to uh, 1924. And um, I'm pretty excited to uh, be restoring this house to its original state and finding out uh, the history of the house back to the early 1900s. Uh, behind here you can see uh, where all of the archives are kept. And uh, the red pipes are a um, sprinkler system and all of the climate is controlled in here uh, because there's uh, different MP3s and CDs and paper copies of the archives and history of the homes and history of the area back to the early 1900s. So if you, um, if you ever wanted to kind of uh, do some history searching on a particular house that you're looking for that's got, that you think might have some serious history behind it, this is a great place to check it out and find some really interesting information that you or many others won't know until you come here and find out. So thanks for listening.